Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here with the topic of today the rules of lean Boolean algebra. Topic is rules of Boolean algebra. An easy topic and the most important one. How to simplify an equation. So we study some rules of this Boolean algebra. So the first and the very and a very easy one is the complement rule. Complement rule. And I believe I have already uh, talked about it in the previous lecture. That complement is what? Complement is the opposite. For zero, the complement is one, and for one, the complement is zero it is written as uh, the complement let's say of a is written as like this a with a dash or it is written as an a with a bar or it is written as not of a not of a means the complement of a okay so if you take uh, the complement 0, zero's complement is 1 and 1's complement is 0 here in Boolean algebra. We will do only with zeros and 1's. A very uh, an important property is what? That if you take the complement of the complement, yani as the complement of a complement, so it is equal back to what? to the original value for example for example i take one's complement the complement of one is what zero and i take a complement of this complement again i take zero's complement which is again equal to one so have a look the complement of the complement is again equal to the original value okay the second rule the second rule is the AND rule. As we've already uh, seen, I believe, in the binary operator, what is AND? So, AND is an operation. We will be talking here about the very basics. So, we take two inputs. We take two inputs. And from inputs, uh, I remember that something came in my mind let me tell you that first before i uh, forget it again if we have n number of inputs if we have n number of inputs so this implies that we can have 2 to the power n total input combinations and what does this mean so now i will show you okay so let's say this is a two input AND gate where it takes the inputs A and B and the output is C where the C is equal to A and with B okay so what I was talking about over there is this we have two inputs 0 and 1. So we can give it to this AND gate in four different ways. And how are these four different ways? This is a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So these are the four ways that we can give uh, the four different types of, the, the four different methods through which we can operate this AND operation, okay? Now what will be this output C? In the AND operation, the output is high only when both the inputs are high. Otherwise it is low. So this would be 1 and the rest of them will be 0. In the AND operation, the input is Output is high 
only when both the inputs are high or otherwise it is low for all the combination of for all the combination of inputs okay now some properties of uh, this AND operation so let me write it here if A is ANDed with itself what does it result in if A is ANDed with its complement what does it result in A ANDed with 1 and what if A is ANDed with 0 alright so have a look if A is ANDed with itself it results in the same way 0 is result is ANDed with 0 results in 0 1 ANDed with 1 results in 1 so it means A ANDed with A results again in A ok A ANDed with A complement look 0 ANDed with 1 is 0 and 1 ANDed with 0 is 0 so it means a ended with a complement is 0 with 1. Now 0 ended with 1 is 0. 1 ended with 1 with is 1. So it means what? That A ended with 1 is so A ended with 1 is A. A ended with 1 is A again. Alright? A ended with 0. So 0 ended with 0 is 0 and 1 ended with 0 is 0 again. So A ended with 0 is a 0. So this is all about this. Uh, what? The AND operation. Now the third. The third is the OR operation. OR. So if again we have A, B, and the output is C is equal to A or B. So what do we have here? Okay. So again we have uh, two inputs. So we have 2 to the power 2 is 4. So we have like here. 2, let me write it here. So, number of inputs if n is equal to 2. So, 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4 combinations we have. And what are they? I have already told you. It would be 0, 0, a 0, 1, a 1, 0, and a 1, 1. Alright. Now, what is this C? What is the output C on these values? So, in the R gate, in the OR gate, the output is high if any one of the input is high. Alright? So, have a look. 0 OR with 0. No one is high. So, it is 0. 0 OR with 1. 1 is high. So, it means this is 1. 1 OR with 0. So, 1 is high. This is 1 again. And what is 1 OR with 1? So, again, both are high. This would be 1 again. This is the OR operation. And we define similar properties for the OR operation as we did for the AND operation over here. So let me check the red color. Here, let me write it here. I believe it would be visible. Or if I could, uh, wait a minute. Or let it, uh, it, is, it is visible. So A or with A, A or with A complement, A or with 1, A or with 0. What are these now? So A or with A, look, 0 or with 0 is 0, 1 or with 1 is 1. So A or with A is again A. A or with A complement, 0 with 1 is 1, 1 with 0 is also 1, which means A or with A complement is 1. A or with 1, 
zero odd with one is one and one odd with one is again one so which makes a odd with one is one this would be used this property is used a lot so you need to remember that a odd with one is one now a odd with zero zero odd with zero is zero and one odd with zero is one which means that a odd with zero is again equal to a a odd with zero is again equal to a all right the next property fourth property is distributive and i believe we have talked about it in the previous lecture as well that the or operation is distributive over the AND operation and the AND operation is distributive over the OR operation and how is that so X into Y plus Z is equal to X into Y plus x into z okay i wrote it down first so and the first one x plus y into z would be equal to what x plus y into x plus z this is the distributive law all right the fifth is commutative and all of you know what is commutative commutative is that if x plus y has a result so it would be equal again to the result of y plus x and if, if you change the order it doesn't matter the result is the same next is the associative Associative law states what? If you operate any two first and then the third, the answer is same. This is the associative law. All right. The sixth is the De Morgan's law. No, I believe I skipped one. Yes. This is the De Morgan's law, which is, I believe, the last one. And the seventh is the De Morgan's law. So, what does this De Morgan's law do? It actually changes the OR operation, the complemented OR operation, into a, an AND operation, and the complemented AND operation into an OR operation. Let's see how. If, if the given form is like this, A ended with B whole complement. So this equals A complement or with B complement. And the second form of this De Morgan's law is what? A or with B whole complement. So this is equal to A complement ended with B complement. This is also an important law. All of them are important, but these are used a little uh, mostly. So these were the rules of Boolean algebra, and uh, and the next and one thing that left is over here is the priority of operation. What is the priority? Priority means that if you have an OR operation, an AND operation, and many operations in the same uh, logic expression. Which one do you operate first? So first, according to the rules, you operate the NOT. You operate the NOT operation first. The second, you operate the AND operation. And then in the last, you operate the OR operation. NOT and an R. Okay? So we're done with the rules of Boolean algebra. 
we done with the priority that was all for today's lecture if you have any question you free feel free to ask there in the comment section and thank you very much for watching see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah till then take care thank you very much goodbye